Haven't been pretty good, and this I've been focusing on other YouTube videos, so that's why I haven't done another rant video in a while. So, doing one again, all because as everyone basically knows it in December 22nd, uh, three days before Christmas on 20 in 2014. Which was like nearly uh, nearing two years ago, oh, where a bus, uh, a former bus driver turned bin lorry driver, uh, called Harry Clark, ended up having a blackout, and mounted the pavement in Glasgow Queen Street, and injured. Uh, fair number of people and ended up killing six people. Basically it was like people who like well I think the oldest was like sixteen yeah, the oldest was sixty nine according to the reports in the media. And the youngest was only eighteen. And basically in the Flemin for for the Crown Court. They ended up saying that Harry Clark couldn't be prosecuted due to lack of evidence. Then the DVLA said that they might prosecute him, but didn't. And basically, an hour ago, oh, for a bunch of judges, they've rejected the private prosecution bid of one of the families. Basically, for the family who were doing the private prosecution, basically it was this family who had like um, who was it? Um, oh wait, I'm gonna check for a moment. So, Bridge the sewers, get more viewers. What is this garbage? Oh, Rupee, I'm having so much fun. Okay, so that's me going and check it, and basically, you know, the family who were doing the private prosecution thing were then they lost three members and basically they were like and Jack Ack and Lorraine Sweeney I think it was yeah I think it was Ack. and both of them were in their late sixties he was like 68 and she was 69 years old and also Oh, their granddaughter, Erin McQuaid, she died at just 18 years old. And basically, there was like three other people who ended up getting killed along with them. Um, and basically, for me, I think the, the decision today for the private prosecution thing on Harry Clark to get refused, I'd say it basically just comes to prove precisely how messed up the criminal justice system in Britain can be. Basically, I think it is messed up. Because the fact is, for Harry Clark, 
back in 2010, before he was a bus, not before he was a, I mean, in, in lorry driver and was a bus driver for first bus, because of his medical condition, he nearly got fired. And, in, in uh, 2010, like, around four years before the bin lorry tragedy happened, he ended up having a blackout on a stationary bus, and then lied about it, saying that he faded in a, in I quote, hot canteen. Mm. Anyways, yes. Sir Harry Clark, he knew about his medical condition, yet chose to repeatedly lie to both his employers and the DVLA. And for the DVLA, they ended up to... Well, for me, I think that the... Uh, and so the, that the fatal accident inquiry, which was like two years ago, they only came to the conclusion they done because Harry Clark kept on acting like a parrot to himself in the courtroom. What was that courtroom? I basically just say it's an inquiry room. And basically just acted like a parrot to himself. Oh, in front of the family members. Where he kept on going, um, I don't wish to answer that. I just didn't wish to answer that. Oh, sorry, I was just there. Not doing uh, something. I was looking on chocolate. So, anyways, going off topic a bit. Besides, he was just saying repetitively, I do not wish to answer that. I do not wish to answer that. I do not wish to answer that. <laughs> Honestly, you aren't exactly going to get anything in out of a guy and get to a verdict if all the guy in question just says is the phrase over and over, but we don't wish to answer the question. And the reason why the DBLA chose not to go and prosecute Harry Clark was simple. Because the DBLA knew that they'd basically be getting themselves into hot water as they were allowing in somebody who shouldn't have a driving license at all to basically keep a driving license and despite their medical or condition. In fact, if I recall correctly, the DVLA actually refused to revert oh, Harry Clark's driving license before the whole bin lorry crash. So, if the DVLA had gone and done the private prosecution, then in a sense the DVLA would have just been shooting themselves in the foot. Oh, pretty much. But my guess is, is that for the judges who done that verdict and said that Harry Clark couldn't be prosecuted, and for the Crown Office who said Harry Clark couldn't be prosecuted because of lack of evidence, basically, I have a question for them. And that question is simple. If the, uh, if you're one of the three judges who chose to pass down that comment, or if you're somebody from the crack, oh no, this who chose to refute the whole thing on Harry Clark being being able to be prosecuted and like deny it. My question to you would be simple. Could you go and look in the eye of those faces for those six people who lost their lives, who were just carrying out their ordinary day in the run-up towards Christmas, looking forward to spending it with their families, that they deserve to die? Could they... And you seriously tell them that? Really? 
to me, I think not. And if you are, then... For me, I'd say shame on you. Just shame on you. And I think that the decision today is just... Nothing sort of wrong. It's just wrong. Well, for me, it's basically going and done my rant video. For me, I think the reason why I haven't blown my feet or something and gotten really teeved off in this one, unlike the last ones, is because basically I think in a way I was sort of expecting this from the criminal justice system in Britain. Mm. Seeing as the families ended up getting, in in a sense, no justice at all by having the people, like the person who killed their family members, like their loved ones on the run up to Christmas, end up walking free, probably not even getting a slap across the wrist. Is basically it was. For me, the reason why I haven't blown my feet on that is just pretty much because I was part of me was just expecting this kind of let down. Well, as always, this is me, Helen's Brewer, and if you like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and you can also comment on it down below oh, in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos, then you can go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, see ya! For my wife, make no mistake about that. <laughs> Touchy. Ow, ow, ow. Teddy <laughs> 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 <Petty> attack. <laughs> See ya.